All right, man. Um, Errol Spence, going back to that Brian Custer interview, uh, revealed that Ter he believed Terrence Crawford uh, power is overrated. And in the PBC rating program, he said he think Terrence Crawford's speed is overrated. If you haven't seen that, you can go to PBC's um, Instagram. They got it on there. And in addition to the Instagram, uh, I got it on my in my TikTok. So check it out on TikTok. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched the TikTok, it's the first. It's in the link tree. Uh, you can follow me on there. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, you know, but we can pull up the article version, the custard thing. I'll chop up some more of that and put it in the shorts on TikTok. So um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, to get notifications. We go live or drop video. And um I just get the feeling that, you know, it's just me and my opinion. I'm not saying it's factual. Um, from my opinion, I feel like Errol Spence is trying to hype himself up. You know how you try to hype yourself up before you get in the pool, you know what I'm saying? Or let's say before you get in that cold-ass shower where you got to rinse off before you get in the pool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you could just say before you get in the pool, you get that cold shot. If it ain't a heated pool, you got to kind of like hype yourself up to get in the pool or whatever. That's kind of what I, I kind of figure he trying to do. And at the same time, he promoting the fight by diminishing Terrence Crawford uh, resume. But at the same time, it's hypocrisy because, you know, you diminish his. If he's so easy, go take care of him like you took care of Ugas, Sean Porter, and Danny Garcia. You know, but he said, you know, uh, he said against Sean Porter, Kell Brook, Amir Khan, Spence claimed that those former champions were tattered and broken prior to Crawford finishing him off. Although Spence admits, uh, still admits that defeating Crawford will be a mind uh, numbing task in terms of his power. Spence isn't worried about having his lights turned out at any point during the showdown. Quote a little bit says Spence boxing when asked about Crawford's power being overblown. He stopped there, right? But I'm not those people he stopped. I feel like I'm a better caliber than those guys that he fought. And that's fair. That's fair, and you can't, you know, you can't take that away from the statement. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You got to say Sean Porter was shot one. You got to say uh, Kell Brook was shot one when you fought him. Let's keep it real. You can say, well, you go look at the, uh, he says, look at the uh, the Formella uh, performance. Look at the performance versus Ugas. He lost to the, everybody know he lost to Ugas before he fought you. So what the hell that say about your performance? Come on, man. Let's do some cross-examination. Chris Algieri had been in a slugfest with Emmanuel Taylor, had been in a slugfest with motherfucking Ruslan Provodnikov, where a lot of people like uh, Larry Merchant thought he lost. And he had just got beat up by fucking Manny Pacquiao and just had missed weight. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we could play that game. But also, we could play the game that Terrence Crawford didn't fought punchers, and you have not. The biggest puncher you fought... Is Mikey Garcia, and I ain't I ain't saying that it's bad. Mikey Garcia can fucking crack, and you fought him like he can punch. Ain't nobody else peeped that but your boy, but you fought him like you he can punch. That's why you fought the way you did. You want to blame every time he have a he don't get a knockout, it's like Floyd. Oh, you know, oh my hands, my hands, my hands. You know, he said my hands or some shit. Well, I tried to go for the knockout, my hands will let me, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. Which one is it? Is the motherfucker overrated, right? Or is he some good? See, you don't you don't know what side of the fence you on, but you and I know, like Tupac said, you and I know. When he tell talk to Puff, he said, you and I know what's going on. You and I know. Because guess what? You know, you got some people that think like this. A lot of people like, let me knock out the easy test and knock out the hard test last. You know, then just like me and Terrence Crawford, and some other people out there, I would get the hard shit out the way. Knock out the hardest task cleaning the house. Knock out the hardest task I got on my list for the day. Then I knock off the easy one. I want to get the hard shit out the way. I hate cleaning the bathroom. I want to get that shit out the way. Nine times out of ten, you know, that's pretty much where I'm starting at. You know? That's probably where I'm starting at. So, you know, you ask yourself, which one is it? You know, ask yourself, which one is it, bro? 
You know, you could say, well, I feel like I'm different. All the motherfuckers felt like they was different before they got in the ring and got cracked with them. He stopped the motherfucker with the right and the left hand. He hurt motherfuckers with the right and the left hand. So, I mean, at the end of the day, his, his the way he fight is going to show us if he respect Terrence Crawford or not. Because he respected Mikey Garcia, and I don't want to hear none of that shit. You know, you know, he just boxed Mikey Garcia because, no, nah, he respected Mikey, and I don't blame him. And when I knew he respected Mikey is when Mikey hit Jesse Vargas with the real punch, and I seen how Jesse Vargas' whole body language and his face changed. That's when I knew Errol Spence had, had fought him that way because he can punch. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't blaming him. You get caught with no dumb shit I ain't got to get caught with. Real talk. But this bipolar uh, uh, ninja from, from Dallas, pick a side, bro. Because you're confusing us. If you're going to be on the side, he overrated, cool. You beat him, don't ask your credit after the fight. And don't say, well, y'all had him number one. And y'all, nah, 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 nah. You just exposed him. He going to walk through him. He going to be smoking on Bud. He going to be doing that shit. And that's fine and dandy. Guess what? Hey, Roy Jones lost one fight coming down from heavyweight after beating a guy, and he was the most overrated champion of all time. Well, I told you. I told you. I feel like that's why Roy continued to fight, just to prove that, prove to people. Man, Roy was – I seen nothing like Roy. Roy at his peak was probably the greatest fighter of all time, not named Sugar Ray Robinson. And unfortunately, we never seen the, the greatest version of Muhammad Ali, which is unfortunate, and that's crazy. And those two, <laughs> you know, and people will sit here, well, you know, Terrence Crawford ain't did this, and Terrence Crawford ain't did. Hey, dude, I, you ain't got to convince me. The convincing stage is over with. I'm not about to go back and forth with you ninjas about this fight, man. We've been going back and forth for five years. Earl Spence been running, and y'all been making excuses for him. That's all I got to say. Earl Spence been running, and y'all been making excuses. It ain't my fault he got in the car. It ain't nobody y'all fault but his. He want to be a street ninja. And I don't like dudes like that. I don't like uh, uh, black people like that. Got everything. He says dad paid for all his amateur tournaments. You know, uh, kept the, when they turn the lights off at the field, he turned his truck on so he can run in the dark. Nigga has support. What you going to the streets for? Ninja watched Bob Wild 106 in Park and wanted to go be a street ninja. Come on, bro. Makes no sense. You got a leg up on, on, a, on a lot of people, not black, not, not just white, not just black, not just Latino. You got a leg up on a lot of people. Use it. But nonetheless, uh, Nonetheless, man, um, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. I would sit here, and he knocked out Kyle Velasquez. He banged with him. He banged with him. He ain't going to fight Spence like that. He'll be a fool. I say that. But he banged with him. Sean, he, he, he dismantled Sean. He, put, he he broke Sean down. Nobody breaks Sean like that. And Sean literally lost before fighting Errol Spence. So what did that say about him? But then he went on the same interview and he said that he or or in the, their PBC rating interview, he said he he said his speed was overrated. He said, Well, I think Terrence Crawford is more quicker than fast. And um, you know, Sean Porter is just probably the most athletically gifted will to weight out there. And Earl Spence looked mad slow in there, but understandably so because Sean Porter gets so low. But if you watch that fight again, you know it's how Terrence Crawford and his center, his center of gravity, how he dropped his weight to get up under Sean, and he created angles to go to Sean's body. Nobody did that. Sean ain't used to getting hit in the body, bro, because he used he's so much smaller and Sean bent down. And when Sean attacked, a lot of dudes shell up. Instead of making a boxing move and going. And Terrence Crawford made a boxing move. He made boxing adjust early on. It took him a minute to adjust to Sean shifting his speed. He missed some shots. But then once he once he once he figured out Sean and he got his distance and 
you know, he was able to get up, his punches was able to get up under Sean Porter. It was it was over with. Earl Spence could make that adjustment. It wasn't that Earl fought Sean fight. He always got an excuse. Earl Spence had no other another way. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he's saying, you know, Terrence Crawford ain't that fast, ain't that quick. We'll see. I think uh, Errol Spence, you know, he's a good athlete. He's a solid athlete. You know, he's solid. You know, um, I mean, Terrence Crawford banking on, is he banking on his speed and his athletic? So any, any fighter moving up in weight, speed is the key. You fight bigger guys that naturally slower than you, so speed is the key. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, what side of the fence Errol Spence on? He overrated or, I, you know, or he the goods. And right now he's a confused uh little boy, um, like Dwayne Wade's son. So yeah, I said it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Check out the box in this playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good313. Venmo CJ Good313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.